Yes, this is fake Pokemon cards. This is a Fusion Strike booster box, but it is not real. Stars Command and all the strategy. Now, the only real difference is like it doesn't have a thing here, and I guess people say that the plastic is like fake. I mean, I knew it was fake. I bought it from AliExpress for 20 bucks, so I knew what I was getting, but I just wanted to, you know, see what, see all the fun, you know? So you open it up. Oh, and also the inside doesn't have the Gengar picture. Usually there's like a Gengar here, and it doesn't say, I don't think it says Sword and Shield either. But yeah, you get packs of fake Pokemon cards. Look at them all in there. I mean, I've never opened an actual booster box before, so... I don't know what a real booster box looks like, but... I mean, you can definitely... I mean, you can definitely tell the packs are fake. But if it's completely sealed and you've never bought a booster box before, I mean, you could be mistaken. But the, the packs are definitely fake. This doesn't even have 10 cards in here, they're so thin. And obviously, obviously the main thing is the crinkle cut on the top. That's the easiest way to tell. And, and oh my god, and the back. The back is, doesn't have any writing on it. Assemble an amazing deck from the many powerful cards in the Sword and Shield Fusion Strike expansion. Including exciting new Pokemon B and loads of Tritic Changer Counter. Let's open it. Let's open the first po fake Pokemon cards ever. Oh my god, look at these things. <laughs> oh my god, this is my first fake Pokemon cards. And we start with an Arceus B Star. Oh my god. So, I mean. Hey, they actually have normal cards in here, what? They actually have normal cards, and only one rare. That's lame, bro, I wanted all rare cards. Are these even... Are they actually, like... Fu Fusion Strike cards? Because it does have the Fusion Strike logo and the number of the card. Are they actually from Fusion Strike? I mean, this one's not. This one's from Brilliant Stars, I think, or Astral Radiance. But I mean, you can definitely tell they're fake. Like, as soon as you look at them, you can literally tell they're fake. You don't even have to, like, compare it to anything. Oh, look at the centering, bro! It's absolutely terrible centering. Okay, well, that was <laughs> interesting. Let's open another one and see. What's the difference is? Okay, so you have one rare card. And then you have... Is that, a, is that supposed to be a hollow? Are these supposed to be hollows? Like... It's got the hollow pattern in it. Like the lines? I mean, they are rares. They are rares, so... Maybe they just copied the... Copied the picture of <laughs> the hollows, and yeah, they are really like they're basically like plastic. They're not paper; it's like just plastic cards. I mean, you could, and we have our rail. <laughs> it's just a hollow, bro. What? Look at the centering, dude. Look at the centering on this thing. <laughs> what? What a ripoff, bro. I wanted all V cards. Aladios Hollow. Bro, my scam Pokemon cards, I got scammed with scam Pokemon cards, bro. Like, it's just a hollow. It's literally just a hollow Latios. <laughs> Where's my Vs and Vmaxes, dude? What? I think maybe it's because I bought the booster box instead. It's just a. It's a hollow Deden! From Brilliant Stars.
Or Astro Radiant, I think it's Brilliant Stars, I think. Hollow the Den. Can I pull? Can I pull an alt art? Can I pull an alt art? Executor Hollow? I wanna pull an alt art, bro. Come on. Alt the new art. Is it thicker? It feels thicker. Maybe there's like a uh, fake god pack. No, there's not. A float soul hollow. Bro, what? What? Bro, where's my. Bro, this is actually. It's actually quite interesting. Oh, oh, come on, what? Landorus. I mean, they're all like, they're like regular cards. I mean, you could play with them. You could play Pokemon with your friends or whatever. And you're not getting the best cards in the game. You're literally just getting Luxray Holo. Come on, bro. Give me something good. Oh, finally, an Arceus V. There we go. Look at the border, though. The border is massive in these cards. I got a V card, bro. What are the odds of pulling a V in a fake Pokemon booster box? 1 in 10? Got a Deoxys. That is actually from Fusion Strike. Deoxys Hollow. Zorora. Nine Tails. Okay, let's get one more V. One more V or better, and then we can stop. Oh, another Arceus V star. Lavani. Deoxys. <laughs> Deoxys normal. Another Arceus V star. Okay, one more. One more. Just one more. Oh, 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 oh. oh Toxtricity Hollow? Sydney. Persian. Lepani. Okay, one more there. One more. One more V or better, and then we'll stop. Oh, here we go. Oh, a Wimscott V Star. I have this card, bro. <laughs> I literally have pulled this Wimscott V Star. Come on, bro, what? Okay, well, that'll do it for this video. I mean, it's actually quite interesting, to be honest. Like, you don't pull the best cards in the game, like, back-to-back. -back. You actually get a pack of normal cards. You get a pack of normal cards and then, like, one rare, like a V-Star or something. And, I mean, you could play Pokemon with these cards. They're just regular cards. I mean, you can, I mean, not professionally, no, but, like, if with your friends or whatever... You could just play some Pokemon, you know. And honestly, like, the fact that they're not all rares, the fact that they're not all rare cards in every pack, it's kind of, it's actually kind of fun to open. Because you never know, like, if you're actually going to get a real pull or not. <laughs> so, I mean, it's fun in that sense. You don't just get, like, the full rares in every pack. But, honestly, it's kind of... I can see why they sell these instead of paying $200, right, $200 for 36 packs, you pay $20 and you can have the, exactly the same fun. <laughs> and yeah, well, I mean, that was quite enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed, I guess. Fake Pokemon cards, by the way, fake. They're not real. I know, they're not real. Anyway, see ya.